Hey everybody, today we are going to talk about 10 plants that you can start today in most places and have some food within like a month or two. So first on our list, we have bok choy. So bok choy is an Asian green that not a lot of people are familiar with, but we love them. They taste great in wraps and stir fries and salads. And they're one of those that will grow pretty quickly. And um, we have these ones right here that we started from seed too long ago. And we should be able to harvest them within a month and a half to two months. Next on our list is turnips. So turnips are really unique because they can grow, um, well, you can eat the tops of them, which is the greens, and you can also eat the bottom of them. So whenever you're growing them for the bottom of them, it will take a couple months, but we like to do this and we plant them super dense and then we cut the tops off and we eat them like this. So it's almost like a microgreen. So it's really nutrient dense. Um, if you were wanting to do them for the um, eating the bottom of them, you would plant them about 16 per square foot. So over here in this bed, we have spinach. So spinach is fantastic. It's one of our favorites, but you can grow it and eat them pretty fast. And um, within a couple months, you should be able to have, have pretty big ones. These right here, we started from seed not too long ago, and they're starting to, uh, starting to have little baby leaves there. And these ones over here that we have next to it are uh, pretty large now. We planted these last fall. And so the great thing about spinach is you can plant them over the, at the fall time. And then over the winter, they'll start to go dormant and then they'll come back and really start thriving over the spring. Next on our list, we have Swiss chard. I love Swiss chard, especially this one, which is the bright lights. So it has all sorts of different colored leaves and they taste amazing, especially when it's cool out and you harvest them. They are great tasting. When they grow a little bit bigger here in about a month or two, they are huge leaves. And when we harvest them, we use them as tortilla replacements. And they, I mean, it's, it's fantastic. They're great. We also have parsley over here in this garden. Parsley is a great herb that is really fast growing and it's really tasty to add to a lot of different dishes in your kitchen, adds a lot of nutrients and it's, it's great. So all of the other plants that we've talked about have been started by seed, but parsley is one that we usually do from transplant because it, it just grows a lot faster that way. Chives are another great thing. As you can see, they're tasty just to eat right out of the garden. <laughs> um, we love to bring them in the kitchen. I mean, we add them to so many things, eggs, um, I mean, potatoes, so many things. They're so tasty. Um, chives are great because they will come back year after year. And they also grow in the summer, these beautiful flowers on the top. And those flowers are actually edible and you can eat those and they are so good. Mary loves especially those flowers. They're tasty. <laughs> I love these. Mm -hmm. So next we have arugula on our list. So arugula isn't one of my personal favorites, but it has so many health benefits. It's hard not to eat it. So I try to try to get myself to eat it. Um, Dale really likes this. So what we do, we usually try to add just a little bit into our salad mixture. Not enough that it's overpowering, but enough that we get the health benefits from it. So kale is another really good plant that'll be pretty fast for you to harvest. And you can grow this one from seed or you can start with transplant as well. We have these little baby kales popping up in here. These ones we planted by seed um, probably about a week or two ago now. Um, and here pretty soon we'll have a lot bigger leaves and we can start eating them. Um, they are so fantastic to add into any sort of salad mixture, um, stir fries, I mean, you name it, kale's great. You like that too? Yummy. So we also have kale over here that we have accidentally planted next to our compost. And this was done, this was planted last fall. We just kind of let it go over the winter and it has exploded. And I, we've been harvesting from this thing like all spring and it just, it's, it's fantastic. Mm. I love to eat these. They're good. Lots of food in the garden. Right? Lots of food out here. I'm saying I'm food for us. 
Mm -hmm. I know, I love the Easter egg. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'll go get you spinach. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. So over here we have some broccoli growing in one of our smart pots. Um, we love broccoli and especially if you get the sprouting broccoli and um, those are really fast because you're not waiting for just the entire head and um, you can harvest the shoots. Um, a lot of people don't know that you can also harvest leaves and eat the leaves from broccoli plants. They are super tasty too. We add them to stir fries. They're so good that way. So over here we have some lettuce. We love to grow our own lettuce because we never have to worry about another lettuce recall in the grocery stores. So we grow several lettuce plants. Um, we grow them in these smart pots and they're super easy. Um, I mean, you should be able to have some lettuce to harvest on and eat on. Um, in about, you know, a month or two. So lettuce is one you can start by seed or you can do by transplant. If you do by seed, you're obviously gonna need to wait a little bit longer. It will be closer to two months. But if you do transplants, I mean, you should be able to be able to harvest within like three weeks. Radish is another really great one and it is super fast. Um, from whenever it sprouts to the time to harvest is less than a month so it is great let's go ahead and plant some now mary you want to plant some okay let's do it so radish is 16 per square foot so we will go ahead and plant this in here okay i'll show you here i'll make little holes for you to plant them in so put a couple in there So come put them in here. One. Mm-hmm. Over here. Good. And right here. Right here? Yep. Uh, excuse me. Okay. Head spot. Now right here. Are we going to plant? Mm-hmm. So we love using these smart pots because they're so much easier, first of all, to harvest from because with these flexible sides, the plants also do so much better just because they have the wind coming in from the sides as well and they're able to let out some moisture too if they get overwatered. So those were our favorite 10 plants that we love to grow that are super fast that you can get started today. If you haven't already, check out our free app. We have the app for iOS and Android. So um, check it out. There's over 100 different plants, fruits, vegetables, herbs on there. It'll help walk you through how to get growing from seed all the way to spoon in the kitchen. And um, if, uh, if you like these smart pots, we have them in our store also. So check those out, um, seedtospoon.net slash smartpots.